All right, sorry about that, everybody. We are back. We are back. Lumbar support. Guys, still with us? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Here we go. You can just well, we're going to give it a minute for people to refresh and log back in. Stuff. Like, just crouch short. That'll go under a lot of buttons. That's actually why you're What's up, Dine? What's up, Igloo? Of, uh, cool. There's one. There's two. Nick. Another minute here. We'll leave Ellie. where we left off. All right. I'm, I think we're... No? You guys uh, can still hear me open mic fine? Yeah. I can still hear you open mic fine. Beautiful. So where we left off here, Luke, you were just saying uh, your impressions of combo breaker in general. How are you yes. feeling this well, top tier, I guess. How am I feeling about it? How are you feeling? How was the event? What, uh, how, what do you feel? I, uh, amazing. Uh, I I had the best time with the best people at the best tournament. Like, I think I was, I don't know who I was talking to. I think it was you. I said if I could choose a tournament out of the year to go to, it would be combo breaker. Like one tournament, if you could choose one tournament. So that's how I feel about it. It was the best. <laughs> Luke, I'd like to, uh, to echo some of the concepts you were saying. Um, yeah, I, I got cut off. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's a statement about, like, I agree and I want to say it differently. With so, the computer, I'm not talking about him. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. There's, Sorry. Yeah, we good? Yes, so, yes. Um, it's, I may have an unpopular opinion here, but I don't care. It's my opinion. So... Evo has been held as the big granddaddy of tournaments for God, a decade and a half now, but uh, I'm already with you on this one. <laughs> I don't feel that Evo brings it. Like Evo is, mm -hmm. I mean, Evo has its own challenges and its own strengths. But yep. my in my experience, Combo Breaker is if you're looking for like the full every game, yeah, high profile, high attendance, high production and quality, it is Combo Breaker you want to go to. If you love three or four games. Go to combo breaker. Absolutely, that's that's yeah. I'm I'm on board. I've been on that train for all the combo breakers. So they always show love to Vampire. Uh, Chicago has honestly always loved that game. That region, you know, you know, shit like that can exist in the Midwest, right? It exists everywhere though, which is why this event was amazing. Yeah, I'm really glad. They Shit's really grown in the past couple years. Mm -hmm. It really, really has. Yeah, the just, scenes really came together. Very happy with how we showed up. Yeah. Showed up with loaded guns and toasted buns. We had a, so, um, I had a good ass time, man. There is a very short list of events that give Vampire the uh, the love letter, the highlighted feature, exposure, presence it really deserves. So, a lot of respect and big ups to Combo Breaker for doing that. For sure, yeah. always. And then before that, it was even UFGT, and even they were. Mm -hmm. It evolved in the yeah. yeah. So we we love that. We want to support that. We have been hitting it hard, and we want to continue to do that. So what were the numbers this year? 112. 112 people. 112. That is v the, the largest V7 <laughs> like outside Japan. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's 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 Two the times thing. Now. That's what I say. Yeah. Largest yes, tournament in North America. And, so we, and that record was broken from last year. Yes. Which was which was held at Combo Breaker. So yep. It's established which, itself, I'd say. Which had doubled from the year prior. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty insane. He's got to take a drink for that one. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Home pie. It's really good stuff. From bon everybody. Bonkai. Turn. So yeah. what do you? Uh, what is it that makes? This is that quickly. What is it that makes the combo breaker presentation so glamorous and so high profile? What do they offer at their event for Vampire? Uh, they offer us a place. They offer like everything. You know, they treat it as a main game. We've had trophies for three years now. Yeah. Um, it's not treated as a side game at all. No. And we show up. Because of that, and, you know, it's an efficiently run tournament, the most efficiently run tournament in the country. Uh, we were always early on pools. Like, everything finished pretty early. And, you know, the stream actually stuck to the schedule pretty well. Um, and we finished early every every block. So it's like... It just ran very, very smooth. With, with, without a hitch on its truck. Yeah, I mean, they take care really of the good. volunteers and stuff, which is something I think a lot of events should stand, could stand to do more. Yeah. They make sure they survive. And they, uh, like, they treat their, uh, 
their uh, like their hired help yeah. super well. Yep. And also, you know, it's a community effort, so there's a lot of motivated people involved, and it's great to see like them get bigger and bigger. Yeah, it it has done nothing but but grow. Yep. It's just like a really yeah yeah. yeah. It's just a it's just a monumental thing now for for like Vampire C. And I think I remember at. Uh, ugh. I think when they, last year of GT was that of GT ten. Uh, yep. Uh, someone said like, yeah, we're gonna make this like the new vampire savior breeding ground here. So. Yeah, it's great. And like. It's done nothing but do that for a major a event. They give us <laughs> stages. <laughs> like we, what other tournament has gotten a stage? Yeah. Yeah, there's a very short. There's a very very short list of the events yes. that. Yeah. And. and I'm not going to name the other ones because right now we're talking about combo breaker, but there's a very short exactly. list, and I'm happy that. Oh, we know. Us. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, the next thing on the agenda here, we want to uh, talk about our MV our MVPs. Actually, I wrote MV MVPs. I literally read. I meant. Did you MVPs. write it? Did you really write that? I, it was must have been. You fucking did. <laughs> I would have wrote down PVMs. MV MVPs. Nice. I guess that the first clause I want to say here is <laughs> this subject and the next subject is very uh, very biased, and we just want to share our opinions as players and spectators and talk about some other players and their performances. So sure doesn't mean, doesn't mean we're right or wrong. It means it's how we feel about people's performance. So yeah. um, I just want to go around the room real quick and say who feels who was the MVPs, and then I like to look at some footage of why and talk about concepts as to what makes them the most valuable yeah. players for that event. Who do I think oh, for good. up and comers? No, uh, we'll do MVPs first. The most valuable players from the actual performance of Chicago. Oh my goodness. I I will say uh, probably Jai and Igloo. <laughs> they're the, they're, I, I think they're just, that was just amazing. Like like uh, Igloo's, Igloo's performance, how he's just running people over. Uh, he went nuts, and then uh, he came back, and Dyer, he came back from the beginning. He was the land before time of this tournament, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, like, Tad, like, that, him too, and, you know, I, what did it make, yeah, that's, that's, uh, Igloo and, uh, uh Jai, that's me, that's me, absolutely. A lot to say about it. I'm in agreement with that pretty much. Like, Jai's running losers. They're so like, sick, man. Sketch I'm tweeted telling about you, dude. it, but he's totally right. He said, uh, "Shit, yeah, Jai's run and losers was crazy." It was. <laughs> and it was. It absolutely was. Kali like, Kaji. It's, it's hard to come back first round, and then he had to play Tad again. Jesus. And made a really nice adjustment. He had to beat his demon. That time around. He had to and then, beat his demon. Yeah. You know, like. He played great all <laughs> weekend. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm eager to uh, to dig through the footage here pretty soon and talk specifically about how they played great and why. But uh, just to finish this around the horn here, I, I'm in total agreement with both of you. Um, in my personal opinion, I think the MVP of singles was Igloo. Yeah. He's super well-rounded. He has the right skill set. He has the right mindset. And it showed its play. And there's, uh, there's a lot of details of prove that within top eight I like to point out and then his meaties the are nasty his meaties are legit it's strong it's 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 scary as hell and then in my opinion the second um mvp we're talking about is the jai um, yeah he's, and, and it's specifically because of his 4v4 performance he yeah. absolutely killed it so uh awesome so let's spend the next bit talking about uh i'm looking at footage of jai and igloo and saying why it's so scary and so effective yeah um yeah i it's it's crazy because like igloo has i think since last uh, com or last combo breaker he was at 2016 uh he's he's leveled up uh exponentially man that was a whole new thing that was a whole new world the aladdin song that i played uh it's completely different uh I got Man. fucked up. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah. I went back and watched the, uh, the the top eight, and everybody was everybody was nasty, though. Like, Kendra's come back, too. I don't know. I could go off. I'm going off the rails on the yeah, you know, yeah. igloo let's and start, jive, but I'm... Let's give, Zach, yeah. let's give Zach a second to find a, yeah. uh, a video clip. Of, yeah. We'll, and then uh, <laughs> we can put some details out about this particular... 
it's not seeking right. Yeah. Kyle, what you uh you gonna would you come back to combo breaker again? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean there was some things Sick. I do a little different, but I Sure, I sure. Plan sure. to I plan to keep attending this one. It's been it's been good to me. This is Servo and Jai. This is good. Fall back. Well no, we wanna see Yeah, yeah, first. yeah, the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, it like skips ahead even though I tell it not to. It's been one week since you looked at me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> what? Don't tell Skipped me. Skipped ahead when I said not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a good song. Okay. MVP. It, this just started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this, this, this shit was sick. See that dash pressure? Yeah. Like Luke Tech. What? No, I'm looking at uh, Servo and... Right now. Are you sneaking Ooh. around there, Kyle? Are you changing it? <laughs> no. Nope. Kyle has control of our computer. I'm hands free, baby. <laughs> I've done that before. Nice. Oh, man. Everybody's getting loud. Yeah. People are getting super excited for this. This is amazing. I, got, I had a lot of fun. 4v4 was sick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This is yeah, I'm, the guys, fuck? I'm sorry. I can't actually follow you guys. I, my stream is showing uh, oh. another map. Oh. Are you seeing Dire versus Servo? <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just lagging the whole time. Is that what you guys are watching? Yeah. We're watching it. It's not lagging. It's not tagging oh. Dragon for us. Mm -hmm. All right. Poop. Might need to refresh, maybe. Bum, 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 boom. Yeah, maybe. What's up, Hagari, Dine, Kane, <laughs> Owen, Dino, Irfan. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of people. Mighty so Mar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We need, I'd like to get an example of two. Oh, God, he just hit a, a, a landing low full team machine. <laughs> that's he a good did. example. Look at that pressure with the yes, soul flash. Boom, 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 boom. And oh, then, my God. That's just, yeah, so. that's just like Kaji. Yeah, he's so There's good. So much you can do, but Jai is so strong about like doing the right option. Um, on the player level, I was so impressed with his ability to to enable throws. Like he can play people yeah. who are like who are hard to read and and really quick like twitchy to attack, and he still conditions them to throw and throw, and it's it's really impressive. I um I have, I have some stuff on uh, Jai here. I think he he will definitely be like one of the best in America. In a uh, very short time, if he he already is. I'm yeah, I'm saying I mean, like he's there. so 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 I'm I'm going further with this, and this is this is a tweet from uh from Hillary. There he is, right there on the screen. Yeah, he says Jai will be the best in North America. He he, you know, I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I mean, play, playing Lilith is is not an easy thing, and he's been doing no. it for a long time. I think him and Zach's matches were absolutely amazing, and uh, there's story behind that stuff with with Tad now. So yeah, <laughs> I beat him early in pools, and he had to play so many fucking matches to come back to get in the top eight, and and like it, the the matches were not easy. It was it was not an easy road, and he one of my favorite players. He's, he's disgusting. He's there. <laughs> he is fucking so there. I've got a good example of um, like a really strong tech and play of Jai. I'm, we don't have the video, that's fine. But uh, and it was it was that grand final set for the four v four when uh, Jai was facing me. So oh, yeah. um, innately against Lilith, she's going to be dashing at you from the from the front, right? Yes. And uh, when you're playing against characters who are dashing at you, a real solid technique is the eight jump. Such that the dash where some move you come straight down on right? yeah right so, right right yeah it's really common against blood and albath and even it was totally a legitimate little tactic right right so, the straight dash in yep i've been doing that over the weekend with some mild success and uh by the time we got ready for our last match uh jai was totally ready for that like he he had the answer and it was <laughs> yeah, right so i'm telling you too because i think how'd you do this answer but i didn't know why or how he set it up and I felt it, I know why, right? Like so, Kaji, yeah. Yeah, so he's setting up a dash pressure, 
letting me know he's going to do it. Right. And then me anticipating the gas pressure, I'm going to eight jump and commit to air blocking, right? Right. At that point, Lilith does a super jump at you into a six hit air chain, right? Yeah. But one, two, three, four, five, six. And then she gets to make some, it's really a mix up. She gets to make decisions mm -hmm. based on how you're going to react to that last force block, right? So the very first layer of conditioning is that I'm going to chicken block after the six hit. Right. Right. So to beat that first chicken block, um, you are going to do um, a late cancel to demon. So super jump one two three four five six demon, and it, it punishes the chicken block. And oh, uh, I, I saw I saw that I saw uh, I saw that shit. That was crazy. That's what it was. It's for instead of like landing doing the jab, that uh, for yes. unblockable, you use the demon as the unblockable. <laughs> Yeah, or you do it as a, as a chicken block punish specifically. Ah, okay, oh, damn. Yeah, it's really, yeah, really pretty... technical. It's really hard, it's really sick, and Jai just put me in that position. And it was impressive, right? But the most impressive part is what happened about five seconds later, right? Okay. <laughs> so the, the the air demon hits me, and it sets up a knockdown, and then he covers a corner like you expect, no big deal. And then next thing you know, I'm in the same position, and he's going to start dashing at me. Right, right. So I super, I a jump and block again. Right? Right. At this point, he's able to set up the exact same thing. Super jump, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then, like, there's a player play this in here. At this point, I realize um, he's probably going to demon, so I have to block a bit longer. Right? Right. So that point, I'm early. I'm going to try to do, like, air block, late fireball or something. Kyle, so uh, can you adjust yeah. your mic a little bit? It seems like it's going out a little bit whenever, like, you lean back. Yeah. Lean back. That? that sounds good. Okay, so Go for it. at this point, he's doing the air thing and the six hits, and I'm, I know that I can't press the button because the demon could get me. So I have to do a like a late chicken block or a move that would keep me in the air, suspend me from getting attacked by the close heavy punch, right? Right. So at this point, I, I, I don't recall if I committed to doing um, a demon or an air fireball myself, but either one would have, would have avoided the his demon, and that was kind of the meta we were at. Right. He ended up like taking the next route, like so adaptive and like leading the opponent. And yeah. he landed and did ES uppercut, and I ate all three. <laughs> and it was it was sick. It was like this my favorite mix up. And it was back to back, and it was like probably my favorite clip. I want to make the coolest gif of that shit. Yeah. Guy so far. If you, yeah, get the Kyle the Kyle gif, man. That's that's legendary. Yeah. You, get, you get legendary that play, status. That play was legendary. I mean, that was literally <laughs> something I've seen Kudji do in winter, like big tournaments for. It was uh, really strong. Yeah. 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 So I'm just to finish my the thesis here, I think. DP. I think Jai's ability to make um, any player like eat the throw is really impressive. And then, I mean, his technical skill. He put me in that really sick situation. I was, I was as impressed as I was inspired. It's great. Yeah. So, that. The professor got inspired. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. The teach see, that see, you know, you know what that is though. That's that's Kyle's gonna. He's gonna start playing Lilith now. Uh, he already he can. To. He's gonna. He's gonna. No, he's gonna. They're gonna form a Lilith army. <laughs> he already yeah. has. There's there's some there's some other uh, Lilith players. Uh, Lilith player that uh, Ja is training. Uh, Diego. Oh, they, they, yeah, yeah. He's, he's 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 got a little army going. So, um, Zach, do you have top eight footage that you're gonna put on this? Uh, uh, I, on this can, I can get it on. Yeah, uh, why don't you put you you versus Jai? Oh, and oh, okay. then just oh yeah, that match examples. was dude. That match was sick. That was play <laughs> some examples about like what Jai was doing. You felt that was like really strong play and why it made him such an MVP in this event. I think that'd be the right time to do that now. He's such an MVP. What did you did you put M V M P? That's what you said. It just it was just VMP. It was a typo. It was. It was. It was just. It was just in your head. You yeah, couldn't. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't. It was like, I can't handle not saying that either. I understand. <laughs> Making up words in the dictionary. Oh wait. Okay. So while while Zach is that ready, do you have any? Any specific Jai like game plan and details that you feel are worth talking about? Um, made him so effective? I think he like he literally can do all all of the Kaji shit. So I don't. It, 
I don't even know what to really say because everything that a Lilith player should be doing, he does. <laughs> like, like based on based on that example alone. All right, I found it. Sorry like, it's really, that. it's really hard for me to to, to pinpoint a bunch of things. Um, I, I got, can I ask you a question, Kyle? Mm. Yeah. Go what for do you it. What do you think uh, his weaknesses are? This is this is the one that was like completely stumping mm. me. Jai's weakness? Yeah, man. I just want to see if you have anything to say about that. <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, thanks, thanks. Let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ponder on that and give you a good answer. Um, oh, okay. Zach, when something comes up, just pause the video and talk about it, okay? Okay. Just tell me when right. to pause. Fair enough. No, you do it. You pause and you talk about it. Because right. it doesn't seem like it, man. It was like he's just going... It's just all... It's the, if, he is, if he was a wrestler, he'd be Lex Luger because he'd be the total package. <laughs> As, as a Lilith player, like, it's absolutely amazing. The vampire player. Oh, what Jai did in this matchup, in this set particularly, that really impressed me too. He actually had... Watch this shit. He had Zach in a position where Zach felt it was hard to anti-air. Yeah, I, really I, yeah. Did you see that I got clipped by that jump fierce that in that space. one too? I traded. Yeah, the, the oh, two MK man. got traded. Yeah. And he was jumping behind yeah. you and you didn't feel like um, cracking HP was a good option. There option. it is. And... Uh, did you see that ESDP? I ate yeah, the shit out of that. I don't prefer that one, but it works. It's fine. Yeah, but I mean, I don't feel like I Just can make, it's I make him with it. I feel like yeah, I mean, yeah. he's like almost 100% on hitting it on me. He's uh, <laughs> like, it's very, very good. Like, usually people don't have that consistency. For sure. Watch this. And, like, that was a messed up <laughs> command grab. You saw it, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. but that was, yeah, that was an ES command grab. I know. We talked about it. <laughs> that if you'd have done HK, you... Yeah. Right, yeah. great. I think, so, um, I think the only thing, like, the habit of, I see of Jai, I don't see of, like, highly competitive little players in Japan. Um, on hit, Jai will take the, uh, the, the mid-screen combo into a um, crouching HP demon, and then he'll try to do, like, a dash short as a frame trap. Mm-hmm. Right, and um, our scene's going to learn how to stuff that because it's not like a legit frame. Ah, uh, so, okay. Um, it just looks scary. Ja yeah, like gotcha. the Japanese scene, like it has to be a mid-screen demon combo. It's kind of gimmicky right there, but I told he has my sympathy. Mid-screen demon combos are bullshit hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear it first. Yeah. yeah uh, Jai's really good at alternating like what he accounts for on defense. Like, he threw me properly sick too. when I was trying to guard cancel. Like, yeah. uh, he frame trapped me when I was trying to tech hit. Like, in your head. He's smart. Yeah. Very smart. You know who else is very smart? You're smart. Thank you. You watching this match? I'm trying. That's smart. Yeah, this is. Yeah, there's something. Let me. Something happens, like, pretty shortly. Ooh. I should have pursued it. Uh, yeah. Did you want to command throw again when you? Of course. I <laughs> waited. See, I got hit by an EFTP yeah. again. Good yeah. throw. I went for a landing low and he Man, blocked it. He was, going, he was going for it. I didn't chain that uh, air chain to the yeah. ground. Should have pursued. Got the left side, but I didn't get that oh. confirmed. And that's when I died because I tried to guard cancel guard that Guard cancel ESL trade, flash. yeah. Yeah. Hangs out there. Like, I felt like I guard canceled very well mm -hmm. over the weekend, but that was like the one time where it was it set me up to like blow that up. Yeah, and I died from it. Yep, you die die hard from it. <laughs> That's a right side walkthrough. Good. JD Martin, the Funky Bunch. What a team. Boom. These kids so just nine jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Good corner walk out. Ah. Throw pursuit. Ah, that should have been a pursuit. True. Okay, that's that's Jai's second weakness is he doesn't pursue consistently when he needs to, like the back kill or the, or the dark force punish. Oh yeah. It's it's a minor thing. Right. Oh, exactly. It's just the high stakes of match. Why do you think he backdashed after that throw? 
Was he? Yeah, what do you think he backdashed? Weaving out of uh, normals. Yeah. He he. Uh, oh, he's pretty damn good at that. With punishes, he he dashes in, dashes yeah. out. That's the right option. Throw into just regular DP. Because all you're trying to do is get the respect. Yeah. Oh, he got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm here talking about it. That's respect. I'd say so. No, I know. I. You know what else is respect? My name, my family. Yeah. That's it, I guess. <laughs> but, so right. he's um, he's actually using mobility at neutral really, really well, such that whenever you do jump in, your angles are wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's really important. Because you don't know if he's going to sit still, if he's going to jump or not. So it's making it hard for you to approach. Yeah. Or even to, to position to anti-air to use a button that you want to use. This is where bad times happen. <laughs> bad time stories. This match was really long, but it never feels like it. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh. See? Uh, he, yeah, that was... Yeah, was that was a total accident. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was so surprised. I was like... <laughs> it's like, it's my birthday. Yay! It's like, I don't want to hug you. When I, when I noticed there is that... Uh, throughout that match, he realized how strong your ability to tech it and guard cancel is. And he made the proper adjustment by throwing you off him. Yep. He, th he threw you a lot, which is good, right? He threw you a lot, and then you were... Yeah. Oh, the ability to press buttons is diminished. Boom. Yeah, that was... Hey, good Such job, man. Match. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. But, uh, yeah. I Igloo, can we talk about Igloo? Yeah, yeah, let's go to Igloo. Let's go to the... the oh, we can go to Iggy. Um, I'd like to start with his match versus Mighty Mark. And, I uh, think... So. Okay. Th this is probably more a speech about, um, America fighting in a car than it is about Igloo specifically, but it does complement your Igloo skill set and strength, so it's worth talking about, right? I think that happened early in the top. Here's the first match. Awesome. Alright, I love Mar. I want Mar to succeed, but Anacharis is bad. Of course. Anacharis is only bad because of the options he lacks. Like, if you go, if you try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Anacharis yep. in a regular match, you will lose. Even Squatch can't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No, his, yo, his buttons, his offense... Yeah, it's great. And Good. it's neutral and zoning, mm -hmm. like, it's one of the best in the game, right? Yeah. So, like, the American scene and the FTC scene has been really proud of Mars' success. And Hell yeah. They always, they always follow up with, like, well, the car sucks, and Mars even better. And it's like, Mars amazing, and Anacar is good the way he's been, he's been played. But yeah. it's not until you start doing what you see Eagle doing here, he's uh -huh. going to get him an advantage. He's going to do um, jab, flick, run the jab, flick, flick, on dash, HP, Renda, HP. Yep. So, right here, this is why Anacarus is bad. Yep. <laughs> it, takes, it takes the mindset Ooh. and the skill of execution and the awareness to do it yes. to win the matchup, right? So, yep. like, props to Igloo's, like, skill set, awareness, and, and execution to actually put Anacarus in that position to yep. make the matchup look, look very winnable. Yep. It looks free when he's he's in that uh, loop, like the flick flick dash. Yep. That's that's but, the key to success. But but if you notice, he like man, like Mar managed to back walk out of the command grab. Yes, like so often. Yeah, yeah he did so earlier. The big I, brunch. I want to argue that you don't even have to do the command grab. You just keep doing the string. But this this is a player decision that Igloo wanted to gamble. He wanted the big uh, the big cash out on that advantage instead of just the sustainability yeah. and it's his flavor of the, of the ice cream you know right 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 yeah so um He's just to like wrap up this point there's a there's a small list of american players who are at a competitive le enough level to use this to overcome an occurrence and we can include igloo on that list i'm really happy and oh no for sure yeah. and he's, he's one of the the japan squad it's been over there yeah. Yeah. He's he's had some leveling up, man. I I really, really. I mean, obviously, it's on display. So, yeah. congratulations. Uh, if I didn't say it enough to him before, so <laughs> he he so, man earned it. Uh -huh. He did. He sure as hell did. So I got to play uh, a handful of casuals with Igloo, three or four. Oh, cool. And the one the one tool he brought to the table, I found very like new and interesting and really challenging to deal with. 
it was uh, when I was going to the air. He was actually reactively jumping punch or jumping middle punch and like forcing an ascending air to air at me. And he was winning damn near every time that that competition happened. Like I've never been challenged in the air with an, an ascending air move, almost like a Street Fighter Alpha tactic, but it was strong. Right. He also he he won this whole tournament and people threw trash at him. They threw <laughs> they threw a they threw a Coke uh, case at him on stage. Not no he's, a, he's in good sportsmanship. In oh good yeah, yeah, for sure. That's great. For sure. Awesome, Luke. What about uh, you? Didn't play Igloo, did you? Zach, did you play Igloo? I played Igloo. He absolutely destroyed yeah. me in Igloo this top eight, wrecked man. Me in, uh... Yeah. Can you show that video of Luke? <laughs> you want to? Was that so in losers? You might as well put my name on a wanted poster and have me arrested, man, because I got blown the fuck up. Was that in winners or losers? That was in losers. Well, that was after he played. Because I I lost the dine and then I played Jay and then I played uh, Igloo. Right. There was a Sasquatch like dripping puddle, man. In the <laughs> puddle of See, squatch like, in the losers bracket. We're talking MVPs. If we're talking the MVP of pop offs, uh, this match has it. VMB the <laughs> MVP. Yeah, you probably made Toa proud on this one, Luke. You really did. Yeah. You know, that was a goal of mine. Especially it really you was. Shirt. You have the shirt, too. So, like, <laughs> you embodied, I made body. sure I got that from uh, from Victoria because that shirt was sick, man. Like, I, I bought that. I was, I, I was like, I hope it gets here before Combo Breaker. Yeah. Awesome. Can you uh, fast forward a bit to find Luke and Igloo, please? This is, oh, this is Luke and Jay. Sorry. Nice. I totally got confused. Um... It glows after this. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah, man, it was a it was a rough sleigh ride, man. <laughs> it really was. No. Nope. Just the, I mean the, the the mirror match is you know it's it's very momentum based. I mean it's as I always uh, say is it's like a Nintendo sixty four wrestling game, <laughs> like. You get the first grab and you're probably going to destroy them. No, or you get the first any type of pressure that doesn't get push block for whatever reason and enjoy. The names are swapped here, right? Eat, eat shit. Yeah, I mean, you know who the colors are. Yeah, I'm, I'm the PP man. Low, yeah. overhead, low. I should not have went for that long hop. Yo. Yo, yeah, what's happening there is you're going Zirashi and you're delaying too long. So he's yeah. getting the LK when he's trying to and catch I was, right there. He's spacing the shit out of me. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, yeah. I call those Kawapa sweeps. Ooh, yeah. Just like at short hop range, you're expecting the overhead and scoot the shit out of you, right? I will say in that last clip, the biggest challenge was Luke, you were long dashing to set up. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Which was good. I have props for that. Yeah. You were doing a delay attack to beat his tech hit, which is amazing play. Right, right, right. You delayed too long. And he hit me out of it. Yep. Yep. I, think it was like three in a row. I know. I noticed but, that. I was like, "That was so silly. Why'd I do that?" Yeah, he's yeah, he's an expert, man. Like, <laughs> so expert. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. That was so. What was I supposed to do, right? And now I'm now I'm gonna die. Yeah. Hey, Igloo uh, uses what that. Do you do over there? Igloo uses that nice. from way farther away than I'm accustomed to. With the crouching light kick. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it hits from a lot farther away yeah. than it looks. Yeah. Big and off. I was caught off guard by uh, empty hop low. Like he would empty short hop low on Damn. my wake up, and I yeah, thought I was out so of range, good. and I would get clipped by it. The sickest part about that short hop low option is that uh, he can cover two rolls with that. He'll get right in front of your neutral roll, and if you wake up neutral or or if you back roll, the short hop low will either be a cross up low or a non cross up low. Right, and right, it's, right. I mean, it's an, it's totally an S tier Oki trap. Like you. <laughs> Throw hop, throw hop, wait for him to get up, throw hop low, and it's great. Yeah. He's a bad boy. So which match should I go to next? Mm -hmm. Just keep it Plus going. Me. Yeah, we'll get through this one, and then we'll probably let's transition to um, do our next set of players you want to talk to. Okay. Uh, I can, so I was trying to do that. My voice was gone all freaking weekend. I was going nuts. Look so, at this stuff. 
Luke, do you feel that there are any options that Eagle uses that is uh, not used by many of the other competitive stats watches? Uh, Medes. Yeah. And, and that makes this character even more of a nightmare. Um, and I even talked to him. I said, yo, you know, basically, what's the secret in the mixed sauce? And he's like, I've been practicing Medes. And if you practice Medes and you start practicing them against other characters, wake up timing and their different roles, which you have to learn those, you're just a fucking monster. And I don't even, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't have those right now. And that is no, that's no lie. Because yeah. it's hard. Like, I'll, I'll go for him here and there when, like, I think, okay, this is the right time. And sure, I might get him once in a while, but I've never, like, practiced him. Like, he's, he's got him, like, that's why he locks a knockdown, a lockerist, so easy. It makes it look so easy. You know? So. Yep. That's, it all flows together. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, I think that uh, Igloo's also really good at reading roles. I mean, um, he's like at the Golden Corral at the East. Like, yeah, he kills it. I don't want to. I don't want to just put his skill set. Yeah. And he is really good at reading roles. Yes. But you, you also have to understand that Sas Sasquatch's Oki is also really good at reading roles. So he's I mean, only, yeah, 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 yeah. He, I mean, he's putting himself in a position where he can, where he can use his skill set to react to roles. Is what I feel like. Yeah. And he was doing that all day. Yeah, yeah, like so, the, one of the biggest things I remember from nasty. our match in Losers where he like destroyed me was I was rolling into him and at the last second he was short hop. Right. And it caught me off guard. I got clipped by it at least a couple of times. And it he would just chain chain me into knockdown and then did similar or you know, dashed in on me as I rolled a different direction. Right. Uh, like I just felt like that was just not a a good option for me to do. Just roll into him. Okay, while well, we have a second here before we transition, I was really happy with Mara's adjustment. So Mara's getting uh, really put in bad situations, and that's why he lost so oh. hard the first game. And then Mara realized that he needs to have an absurd offense and not let Igloo play. Right, so right. That, the whole first bat, and I think even this whole win, is nothing but Mara, like, in there with advantage and pressing buttons. And that's the adjustment he had to make to overcome that matchup. Right, Oof. right, right. Oh, uh, what do you do, right? Like, come on. Well, what does he do, right? Ooh. <laughs> Great combo. Oh, gave that away. The world's weirdest Waffle House. Get big brunched. Yeah, so I guess the last thing I was to say about Eagler is uh, he's very strong at tech hitting and then dashing behind the tech. Which, right, right. Um, we have a mixed bag of that in our scene. Some people react quicker after tech hit, some people don't. And Eagler is like a tech hit. Execution for Igloo is to block and press five buttons and press forward, forward, and like, like kick. Like that whole execution is a ticket for him. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Sasquatch can can make life better. Yep. Or more miserable for everyone else. Yeah, it made me miserable. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, he fucking. I love I love his Sasquatch. Like. Yeah, he's definitely okay. earned it. He's an inspiration. Let's I have Let's to say take that. Agenda forward. Um, last congratulations to Guy and Chris. So let's talk about uh, this next category. For sure. It's uh, I wrote it as up and comers, but I just wanted to clarify it's more about uh, like real, like large progress, right? We all play a lot. We all get better incrementally, and we all have expectations. Yes. Of skill set, right? But then, right. like in this tournament, there was uh, so many people. I had three of them in my own experience who i felt like their improvement from the last time i saw them was exponential like they went a whole like skill gap ahead not just an incremental change so i wanted to pitch you guys up and see who you thought had made the most improvement or the, as it's written here the, the up-and-comers you yeah. see a lot of potential with yeah. and uh if we're lucky enough to find someone to play that'd be great but more importantly let's spend a second talk about it and, yeah let's let's go that direction all right Okay. Now, uh, I I have two picks. Um, I feel I like well. uh, Tank Top Typhoon did extremely well. He's been playing with us, playing hard, and he's gotten exponentially better since yes. Akai. Yes. And he broke into top 24. Yeah. Uh, like, that's, you know, not easy to do. Yeah. Uh, he's been playing for, like, what, a couple years now? Maybe yeah. a year? Yeah. And, uh, like full year, but yeah. he's playing like before that, like a bit before that. 
Right, and then like Makai, you know, some of his matches were shaky, but he did well in the team tournament. Yeah. And I think doing well in the team tournament really motivated him to really try to get better. Yeah. And it, I think it showed for him. I'll just touch on that because I'm that's one of my picks too. Yeah. I'm I'm very proud of him. Uh, he's been very consistent with everything. It was his first time making out of pools in any game in a big tournament, so he was really fucking happy, you know, and I was happy for him. <laughs> nice. And he's uh, in his play and everything, he's been uh, composing himself uh, a lot better, and he has a ton of experience uh, under his belt now. And I, when I did the thing, a little piece on him on stream, I said he's a testament into uh, uh, what being a new player is all about type of deal. Uh, the dedication and the hard work and everything paying off, you know, and it's yep. not an easy road, but, and he takes his losses, he's took his losses, and it's been, it's actually made him stronger, Yep. and that's just gonna make oh. him, uh, have more m confidence to drift into the Makai realm. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Zach, Zach, can you go ahead and, uh, yeah. pull up the 4v4 and let's try and find a match or two of these people as we discuss? Sure. It may be hard, but at least we can keep the conversation rolling while we, while we do the Easter egg hunt, okay? <laughs> What did you eat for Easter dinner? But uh, while I'm doing this, uh, can I talk about the second pick I have? Uh, I yeah, want talk. To talk more about, I want to talk a little bit more about Typhoon. Like, okay, uh, let's do it. All right, yeah, we'll stay on that. That's fine. But, um, specifically, what has he been doing better? Hitting more right. beast cannons, being more consistent with doing that. Oh. Is it about the confirms or the execution? Just the confirms uh, at the moment, I think. The execution, I think... He'll, he'll get there in time, but he's, it's, it's, it was damn good this weekend. <laughs> but his confirms have gotten a ton better, man. Like, I, I feel like he's just playing with, with more confidence and uh, being more patient as well. I mean, you're Wolf, you know, but he's playing the character, playing the character well, learning, so. All right. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Oh God, what team is he on? <laughs> oh, the four v four. Okay, so that was uh, that was so much fun. He was on Dine's yeah. team, but I cannot remember his name. Oh, oh, I I played him. It was um, the end of the first round. Hey, that could be anywhere. Oh God. Well, so the there's a the lot of footage, man. I still haven't went yeah. through all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share some of um, some of my experience. Um, cool. I, I met Typhoon. No, so I'm sorry, Typhoon. I met Typhoon mm. last uh, last year at Combo Breaker, and uh -huh. it, was, it was a good time. Like he's he's totally one of us, and we have a lot of, a lot of respect and like oh, yeah. each other. And uh, but it was very obvious to me that he was still relatively new to fighting games. Like on a concept level, sure. he understood what should be happening, and he could talk about it. But yes. when it came to like awareness and execution and like your strategy he was still very new yes. so um this year i played him a little bit and i watched him play a lot and he is he's now truly a competitor he's been murdering people yeah he really has yeah. that's that's awesome yeah i'm sorry i'm still searching he's for still it. looking for looking, the thing it's not looking good this is kind of hard to find bangs bust right. bangs bust, all right when bangs, someone bangs, comes up that's good we'll get there but uh but he said that he but, just played you and lost yeah he played he played me it was half at the end of the first break who's on your team oh me <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny <laughs> okay um for reference well, team it, tourney larger uh, went top to bottom i got it, it. Let's go to you got it. thanks thanks terry Nope. Wrong Morgan. This is this cross. No, no. Okay, so um, we'll find this match and oh, it'll come up and we'll take a minute to appreciate it. But, sure, um, sure. Let's go on to Zach's number two. Who do you feel? Uh, who else do you feel? Um, I think uh, Johnson from uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, Short Jukin. Short Jukin. I think he did a, a pretty good job. Had a good showing. Um, All right, yeah. That's your guy, man. You've yeah. been training him, right? Yeah, I've been training him for almost a year now. All right. Ten all right, all right. I mean, and I can't take I can't take full credit. Like, there's a squad of us up here who like host and meet and play and right, 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 right. Go back about two matches for. Um, yeah, I know. I got, I found it. But um, he has been consistently showing up and talking, hanging out. And yeah. He went to uh, Evo Japan and yep. really inspired. I saw him. him. Yeah. Yeah. So. uh 
He'd be happy to hear that. No, he uh, he was sick. I, I was impressed. He he uh, doing the Hosokawa resets, just like pancake flipping people. That was amazing. So have you played him prior to Hollow Breaker? Have I played him? Yes. I thought I played him in some casuals Here we go. at uh, P and W. But I did not play him this weekend. Nope. I did no, not no, play him. Or this weekend, have you ever played him before? I don't think so, unless I played him in casuals. I, I never played, I played him in the tournament. Northwest majors once. Oh, you played him in Northwest majors? Oh, he was top eight in Northwest majors, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I think the not, first I one. Recall. I met him in the remember? venue. I remember that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't recall. Anyways, uh, but I'd like to see how that would go. What do you have to say about this match, Kyle? Do you see it? Yeah, I'm actually watching him. Okay, that's why you're not talking. Like, yeah, I mean, he's he's got the good game plan. He's doing the right tools. I mean, this is not a beginner. He's a real competitive player. Right, so, right, right. You the Dark Force? Out. Yeah. Power up 2012. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, unfortunately, this may not be the, uh, the best video example of his skill set. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, right? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Thanks, footage, for shutting Kyle up. <laughs> <laughs> footage, yay. Yeah. Watch out for the fireball, jumping over the fireballs. Okay, um, we will watch the Johnson match for sure. Okay. Um, Luke, who was your number two? I also, uh, I also had Shorjukin, but I also, I had, but, but because because of that i do have i do have other ones that i want to talk about i think i think shalimar has improved i think Irfan has has fucking improved man like yes. I, I really really do I, I i had him i had him down i got it i was he was looking clean yeah he's very hard to catch but i feel yeah. like once i catch him i can i can just sure outpace him in damage right but it's hard to catch him yeah I, I feel a little frosty. And best like that's best keep weight character in game yeah. i'll i'll right. say that you can buzz forward a bit maybe he'll pop on the stream um i would like to share that uh, i was one of, i was lucky enough i was fortunate enough to be i, I watched a match it was a ton of match it was Bruce versus uh Oh, okay. And it, was, it was a blood in the air. It was, it was like, it was high mobility. It was tension. It was like jumping and walk below. It was tech hit. It was like tech hit missile. It was dash command throw. It was a sick, awesome match. And uh, the neutral was damn near even. Like, yes, not it. I think they were at like 50 seconds on the clock with like both having a, a tied bat or something. Like, <laughs> That's his neutral and his ability to handle that character really improved yeah Great. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah he, i think he's i think he's an he's one to talk about i also think uh i think uh i think rosa parks did pretty good uh since since i saw him at makai i thought he did a lot better yeah he's been grinding out on like uh, he's been playing man on fight and everything and yeah. he's playing locally in chicago i believe yep wow that's yeah. great. Uh, I got a. I think uh, Yaya Zalbath was pretty impressive. Yeah, a after the Anakaris switch. You know? Yeah, that's a huge improvement. Dude. Yeah. He like yeah, OCV to team or something, I think, or close to it. That's a character switch in about a year of practice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I was impressed by it. Because the dude quit Anakaris uh, last year <laughs> around this time. So, yeah, like a. A year in the jumping in the all bath and yeah, it's kicking people's asses. It was cool to see. Taking a shower in the all bath. <laughs> Taking a shower in the all bath. I cannot awesome. find uh, where Earth. Uh, it, yeah, it'll it'll turn up. It'll be fine. Um, I have three people here I want to talk about. Okay. I I felt like um, I, it's not fair to say up and comers. I'm just reiterating the fact that. Everyone has progress, but I felt that these three showed like humongous skill gaps since their last event, and it, mm -hmm. was, it was really exciting, right? Um, All right. Yeah, so um, the first person I think is important to talk about is uh, a player from SoCal named Some Person. Yeah, Frankenstein. Yeah, he's, he's a relatively quiet guy, so it's. Mm -hmm. I talked to him. I talked to him uh, before. I talked to him at Frosty's, I think. Is it? Yeah. And, yeah, and he's been, I, I watched SoCal streams, and he's getting better and better, and I played him a year plus, a year plus ago, and he was very new at that time. Mm -hmm. 
and he's grinding, he's playing, and grinding and playing, and um, he really impressed me. I watched his matches in pool, and I think it was a 4v4 also, and I felt for the first time, I was like, holy shit, we have, like, a, a legitimate Victor player in America, and it was, it was a real good feeling. Victor rose from his grave. Like, because there was no victors. I, I sub Victor. I'm very confident with his options, and I know what he could do, what he should do. He's a lot of and fun. Like, and the options that some person was choosing and like rotating were the right ones. I just, right. I really felt that he's on the right path for success. And he's come a long way, and it was, it was, it was inspiring. I hope he. Yeah, I agree with that. on and kicks ass. Yeah, I agree with that. I love Victor. We need, we need Victors, man. Yeah. America does. We are yep. underrepresented, and some person is our guy. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy. He's some person. <laughs> He's some some Victor. You got to be the Victor. No, I think he's. I think that's awesome. We 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 need this big time. So, who's your who's your who's your next pick, uh, Kyle? Uh, my number two, uh, not number two, but my uh, second pick I have yeah. is actually uh, Northern Ohio Eli. Hey! Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man, like it's actually a Hell similar yeah. story to what I just said for for. To Victor, or some person like I played him a year plus ago, and like I could tell he was nausable and he likes talking about fighting games. He, he does, has, uh, yes. I think he has a rich Street Fighter background, right? He plays a uh, Super Turbo Vampire. He yeah. plays a ton of he ton plays of a lot shit. of stuff. Yeah. yeah, he plays a ton of shit. Yeah. So as as a fighting game player, I knew he always had some skill. But um, when I met him in Vampire, he was still very new to Vampire. So taking that that previous language and molding it to this language, and it was in progress. But uh, yeah. I had a hell of a set with that guy. I think we played three, and I was just—I wanted more. I wanted more. Like, right. he's so nice. He wants to play two and then give it, like, play one and give it to the next guy. And I'm looking at him like, "Do you need more matches, buddy?" Like, I'm learning stuff, and you're learning stuff, and he's strong. I felt like um, he has a holistic understanding of the character in the opposite. Sure. I and mean, it's probably because of his past experience of fighting them, right? Yeah. But he had lows, overhead throws, tech hits. Like, he he was a complete package, and that's rare. Usually when people develop, they have the one character, and as they yeah. get strong, they get strong with the one character, they get strong at fighting games. But this guy is, like, he's very well-rounded, and that was really fun. Yeah. That would be great. No, he's sick. He's sick. He's been, he's been really... That's really grinding VSAV. Like, they play in Columbus. They have, like, a ton of tournaments. So, the scene up there is excited again. Uh, I, he, he'll, he'll come to me for some stuff on how to do things. And I basically am like, okay, here's what I know. But I'm just going to send you to Kyle. Yeah, I mean, I... I uh, <laughs> like, that's what I did. <laughs> like, I told him about the uh, to... Dark Force stuff you told me when you got back from Japan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing it. Yeah. He was doing it. Cool. It was great. <laughs> Good shit, Ellie. If he, shows, if he shows up on stream, then that's cool. But uh, I just really want to give him a minute of compliments, and I hope he keeps going. He's, it's a weird scene they have. It's like two Jettas, two Sasquatches, and two Albas, and him. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, he said that there's, the Columbus uh, some pool. there's some matchups he's very comfortable in, and some others he's still running. So, and then he said that Morgan was like Jetta, but not as scary. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Awesome. Okay, I have one last person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, um, go to the very first anchor versus anchor of the 4v4 set. And boy, do I have a story for everybody here. This is... Oh, this you have a story? story? I have a story. I don't uh, want to hear a story. Is this the first match? Uh, I don't think so. Not the people I want to see, so keep going. Oh, man. Well, this, this is where the video starts. Okay, well then do the next set. Oh, and maybe the second anchor. Doesn't get the bite, but four thing. For a mix -up and takes it. Look at all this. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take me a while to to look through all this stuff. Yeah, it's about four about six seconds. We have to watch this match. I can't give you guys a story without watching that. Okay, so okay, okay. That's we'll that's. Give it a Felicia, a it's not this one though. Like buzz forward about six minutes. Well, I, I'm looking yeah. somewhere else. Like, I'm looking on another window, Kyle. Oh, I'll send you a little text message here. Um. Okay. Yeah, so I just sent you a text on Skype. No, on Discord, sorry. 
David crossed up. That's what you showed me? Like, that's what you want me to find? Yes, and it's an anchor match. It's really early in the tournament. Okay. Hey, okay, cool. Punish? Yep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Even be careful about that. Turn a vampire. Very easy to find for pretty much every character. There's this. No one's really been getting many clean hits. Basically, I have a story. A Wait, this is it. Awesome. Michigan oh, masturbators. All right. Yeah. Michigan <laughs> masturbators. <laughs> 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 oh, just get the ten ray on. Ten ray. Get there. Uh, We're getting there. Look at this. I skipped too far ahead. So the end of this video? Yeah, uh, oh, it was before day, we stopped and restarted it. It's not hot in here like that ballroom. Alright, this just started. Alright, hitbox, hitbox, hitbox. Oh. Alright, so my final nomination for the most improved Pause. is... And I'm certainly not biased, but I know all the backstory, oh so it's worth sharing with the group, right? So of I, course, of course. I'm just going to play back friend, finish. Alpha Kami Tad Griggs. He did so fucking amazing. Yep. Um, some backstory for you guys, okay? Yes. Tad went to Makai, right? Yes. And he did terrible. It was like literally his worst training performance of his life. Like, sure, he sure. He left that event, like, A, having a good time meet, meeting his friends, but realizing, yeah. like, hey, I gotta change it up and do something different. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, number two, um, last year he was unable to come to Combo Breaker. Yep. Due to an accident. Accident, and, yeah. Uh, so, this year him coming was a bit more symbolic, right? Like, he wanted to make up for last year and wanted to, like, just get back involved in the game and the scene. So... He had that like on his shoulders as well. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. I kind of feel that way. I felt that way too. About yeah. him, I really did. About him being there. So number three. So like with that, it's like one of the best things that. That one of the best experiences in the weekend tournament events. It's like there's the people that you're expecting to see, and you know you're gonna have a good time. For sure. So it's, all, it's all the people that you you like just subtly forget about or don't expect to see and then you see them and it's like how many friends and how many connections you have right? so, <laughs> tad knows like, everybody man yeah, everybody knows tad knows, yeah everybody knows tad and know it was a nice a nice reminder so here we are we're gonna start this match right yeah and uh, the tad champ yeah so what we're getting there um right you can hit pause you can hit pause here right right yeah. as tad is about to play he like opens up the beer that he's been hiding in our backpack, right? It's not pausing. And and, and this beer, this play, whatever. This beer manages to like champagne explode on the stage. He did a stone cold. <laughs> it happened. Okay, so like he literally was like, I have to play him in my team, and then this beer, it stone cold explodes like on his lap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what type of oh shit moment are you in, right? So. He just like looks to the crowd. All he sees is bright lights, and he's yelling like, "Kyle, bring me paper towels, right?" <laughs> so, me and Miller to be, we run to the bathroom to get like handfuls of paper towels. Not knowing, I don't even know what they're for, but run up there and throw throw them on stage, okay? Before exploding point, drinks. Yeah, like he's literally mopping up. Like he he wears gym shorts. He's like a tumbling, cheering coach. So he comes to the with gym shorts. So here you are, like a full bottle of half bottle of beer just stripping wet on his lap right oh your you're, you're, your juju is soaked man it's it's not good yeah so I mean, he's like dabbing it up with paper towels and then it, it right. takes some time right at this point there's a bit of delay between the match starting so uh our buddy luke was feeling pretty good and getting the crowd excited uh you know <laughs> so, so, yeah <laughs> so luke he incites a tag chant right oh Which hell was, yeah it was amazing it was like 60 some people like in unison, in rhythm for like a minute dad, and a half. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. And here he is. Man, like, I'm so excited dad. for him, man. It was he fucking has to awesome. For his team. He told me that. Can I be profane here? Is that okay on screen? Yeah. Kyle. He says. This, you're no, in, you're you in our you're in our apartment now. <laughs> of course you can As be profane, said, Kyle. His his balls are dripping with beer, is what he said. Uh, <laughs> he had butter beer balls. 
And, wow, uh, that's really profane, point, Kyle. At this point, he knows he has to go up and anchor for his team, okay? And he has to, I mean, he looks, he realizes he has to fight Johnson. Okay, Johnson is someone in our local scene. Oh, this was great. I, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. What you guys don't know is, like, historically and statistically, Johnson wrecks Tad. Like, literally 9 to oh, 1. Oh, okay, Johnson see, that's what I, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, so you put that on, you put that on top of, like, the crowd chanting for him, <laughs> and his, like, He's covered in beer, and he has to play Johnson. Well, I think it's, yeah. Amazing. Anyways, uh, I think crowd chanting about two minutes or so, he felt he had to, like, address the crowd. So he, he mm -hmm. said something like, I got this or whatever. And at that point, he had more pressure to perform. He had beer in his Johnson. <laughs> yeah, and he absolutely fucking performed. Like, yeah. his QB has a new strategy, a new outlook, and when the new tools, he's playing really competitive. So, um, Can I hit play yet? Yeah, hit play. <laughs> Beyond the humor of that story, um, I feel like Tad's game has really, really evolved. Um, and the last supporting thesis here is like Tad did beat Jai in singles, and it wasn't it wasn't cheap. It wasn't a robbery. It was just solid play from both players. Right. So, uh, I was really impressed by Tad this weekend. It's <laughs> insane. I heard Matt just say everyone loves Tad. That's why short you can better not win. <laughs> 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 that is so nice. Did either of you guys get a chance to play Tad this weekend? I played Tad in pools. And how was the matches? Oh, I, I saw that. He did. Yeah, he didn't know Sasquatch. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then he does this shit. <laughs> um, I think I played Tad in casuals, but I'm not sure how much I played him. I don't. Okay. I played a lot of people, man. I'm sorry. Right. Um, but I was really excited to see him. I mean, yeah. And I, he, was, I, he was supposed to be there, man. It was fate. Yeah, Tad yeah. is the reason why I lost my voice. <laughs> why, like, he was like the catalyst to me losing my voice because I was screaming. Oh, man. It's beautiful. We chanted for him in top eight. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, blue hands. My God. That quick jam. Oh, no. You tried to do a TK bubble there, but the turnaround frame is good. Yeah, TK yeah. bubble is. It's hard to execute. You're right. But, like, this is just a solid, well played beat. And the crowd is, is going. Oh, man. This is so yeah, high. You can hear the, you can hear the, the crowd's going there. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't rewatched this one yet. We have so. the volume almost all the way down on this video. The and that's all we're hearing. This is so oh, fucking amazing. Ground, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, we're from the same scene. He's Johnson said he came up to me. He's like, we're from the same scene. Why did everyone cheer for him? <laughs> and like Kyle came over and like had to console him. <laughs> what did you tell him? Didn't you say like, well, no. Tad's like real respected in the community and <laughs> no, this conversation was amazing. So I wonder, I'm wondering, yeah. I started to give him the like, like no one hates you speech, right? And then sure, sure, sure. Halfway through that speech, another PNW guy comes walking by. Um, Thor came walking by, and then Jonathan asked Thor the same thing, right? Okay. And then Thor, it was it gave the most like eloquent, respectful response I could have expected. It was great. Thor said. But everyone loves Tad. He's like the weed uncle of the group. <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah. And, and of then, course. Like, Hell yeah. And then three people, like, just organically around us, they're like, oh, yeah, I smoke with Tad. I smoke with Tad. I smoke with Tad. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was the end of the conversation. Yeah. He's like, okay, I get it now. Everybody's cool uncle. Like, my, if you would have asked me, I would have been like, it's Tad. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you going to do? There's no, there's no real, Stat. that's the answer to it. That's, the, that's it. Oh, that was, okay, so, that was hilarious. Um, let's do one last, uh, Jesus. Uh, moment of silence, round of applause, congratulations to, we talked about Jai, we talked about Big Blue, we talked about, oh man, uh, Shalimar, yep. Eli, yep. Tad, Tank Top. some person, Johnson, and Tank Top. Yep. That's a classic. Awesome. So, uh, I think that was the bulk of <laughs> is, our content OG here. Yeah. Just, uh, what do you have to say, Zach? What are, uh, what are shoulder buttons? Uh, 
Where are the so where, what happened to the soldiers? I'm just really happy. <laughs> uh, I wish yep. I wish we were stuck in like a yeah. temporal yeah. rift yeah. where we were all just at a major all the time. Uh, you gotta play clean. Like, I might only make I know it to 39 then. But like, yeah. I wish we were still hanging out and playing games <laughs> and not doing real stuff. <laughs> yeah. But that can't happen. Um, but I'm really pleased with the event. Really glad how everybody showed up again. Uh, it was action packed with Vampire. Like, we didn't have anything Friday, but we did have stuff Friday because yeah. of the Kendra Progressive League. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. We played some of those matches on stream on Friday yeah, we were, after everything. The stream was on all weekend. Yep. It was, I would, that's an intense endeavor to take. Uh, so. Yep. And then um, I, just amazing matches all weekend. Like From so 10 a.m. till 2.30 so in the morning. So with all of this said, uh, we're going to start our special announcement here. Okay. Um, oh, hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> special announcement. I, no, well, this is the, the pre-special announcement. Okay, okay um, yes. We'll just, this, I got a text from a buddy, and I totally agree, and I think it is important to mention. Okay. Um, 4v4, Fang versus K-Josh. That was pretty fucking exciting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the Lele mirror? Like, yeah, like his K-Josh is Lele Senpai, and he's incredible, and Fang has been at it for couple of years he's better and better and it was just it was <laughs> nice for bang to have such a strong showing it's pretty symbolic that he did really well against KJ. yeah he he fucking destroyed it that was yeah plus so, he is bang really is just a nice dude <laughs> well i was on his in his car i was on his bus yeah on the bus yeah he was just driving me around beating the shit out of people with ten <laughs> yeah okay so Sorry to You're good, man. So, with all of that said, um, last year, or earlier this year, rather, we ran uh, Makai World Cup 2018. And it was awesome. Um, had 44 entrants for Vampire, which is not, not huge, but it's like, you know, it was a more intimate event. And so many good people showed up to contribute to this. We had singles we had a 3v3 mm -hmm. it was so awesome and we had other games represented um we had a lot of time to hang out with people immediately afterwards uh after makai concluded uh we've been getting planning going like got it going as soon as we could and uh just want to show you this so uh just a moment I'm gonna mute everything Make sure the audio is up on the video. Oh, yeah. And then when this is over, we need to put the video on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <笑>なるほど、なるほど。それで青がつきすぎるという。これでもう間に合いすぎて全然わかんない。いざヘルパーお互いもうよくわからん。うわ、これは。うわ。何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何
<laughs> All right, we are back. So, please come to Makara World Cup 2019. We, uh, we, Zero we, One has we, confirmed we. his attendance. We are very <sighs> excited to have him in Cincinnati yeah. at the deserted chateau. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think with that said, one of our exhibitions over the weekend will be a kumite where it's us versus him. Yeah. I think that's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, uh, Zero One used to live in the States. He went to school here and was oh, uh, involved in the B-Boy community at one point. Uh, what? I'm not sure if he still does that, but you know, oh, that's, shit, I think that's really man. fucking cool. Wow. Yeah, so uh, some history for Zero One for you guys. He's been, he started competing at Darkstalkers Resurrection. He is... Uh, about five, five years in, competing at a very consistent, like, five days a week in the <laughs> Japanese scene. Like, that guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. He, Gee, he's, God damn. he's as Western as he is Eastern, but he's got the skill set, and he's he's awesome. He's friendly. He's happy to come and play and be involved in this experience. So, yeah, that's We want to host him, and we want to give him the experience that, that he's looking for, and we want to all play someone from a different country and learn something new and this is going to be an awesome opportunity for everybody yes the boys is, know how yeah. to throw a welcoming party that's all i gotta say <laughs> uh, a couple other things for us anyone who doesn't know his his english is absolutely phenomenal like, hey you don't all right have, to have any concern about a language barrier you no can even shit. talk about like idioms and expressions and he's there so we can Hell just yeah. don't worry about that he's great to talk with great to hang out with he's uh, smart yeah. Um, a couple of recent accomplishments he just had to show his credibility. Uh, GPG qualifier number five, I believe. He actually beat Deckham Allen out of the tournament. Oh, the Zabel? That Zabel yeah. destroys shit, man. I know, I know. <laughs> he not, he, it was it was a sick comeback with like five good reads and strong execution in a row. I mean, it was it was sweet. So oh. I'm looking forward to making a gift of that one. All um, right. Last weekend there was Mikado, Mikado Monthly last weekend, and he actually eliminated Nakanishi. So like he is strong and quickly rising the ranks and there's nice. a lot he can teach us and show us oh my god yeah. uh, i got the video ready for you oh my god kyle yes sir uh you want me to play this vid oh yeah you can play it i actually haven't seen the match yet oh go ahead and play this is the full screen this is right at three minutes yeah, this is some real exciting stuff, man. Like, the you know, you, as we've talked before, and the last time we did this, like, you you have done this, man. You've united the Japanese and the American scene. Congratulations. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is happening. This is real. Yeah, this is uh, the first it's time it's uh, been a uh, player come you. over specifically for Vampire, correct? Am I wrong on that? Um, there there could be some, yeah, I know that there's been Dara and like yeah, yeah. and some other, and some other players coming for Evo. Obviously, Haikani's going to play their things. So, so, yeah, so. and but Evo is like numerous too. games and it's a side tournament. So yeah. we're excited to have really strong one competition in like a true love letter, high profile Western event. We right. can show them how, how we treat Vampire and have them be a part of the experience. Yeah, man, I, I, I don't know. That's that goal accomplished. Yep. So yep. coming to Cincinnati, like, <laughs> no. there, it's it's early. There's a lot of planning and logistics that have to come, and there's going to be more announcements about those details. But just at the moment, we want it known that he's committed to coming. We're committed to doing our best to bring him, and we're going to make this thing happen. Let's go! Hell yeah! And yep. Then, yep. Yep. And then the the dates are locked in. So you have any concerns about? when or where like we can start to plan for your attendance if it's something you want to do we yep. want to have you march 23rd 24th 2019 um also just to add on what i on to what kyle is saying uh from here until from this moment until makai all of our subscription money will be going straight to the funding to get zero one over here um we're also launching a teespring campaign which hasn't happened yet but it will be a uh makai related felicia shirt oh 
oh. where 50% of the proceeds will go towards that as well. But we'll have details on that shortly, uh, hopefully within the next uh, one or two weeks. Nice. All right. Yes, but that's just one of uh, hopefully many good announcements we're about to make, and uh, we'll be working on uh, more official trailers and everything. Uh, but beautiful. I'd like to say that trailer thank is so you sick. To uh, Darren, aka VMP David Cross, aka Darren, Darren the Prophet. The Prophet. He has, I told him he had too many damn names now. AKA Super Sloth. <laughs> yeah. AKA so, Steak um, and Shake. Bon Clyde. Bon Clyde. Oh, that was a sick dark yeah. horse. My God. Bon Clyde had put in mad hours the past week and a half, two weeks, and actually yeah. had just finished this trailer. So uh, shout out to the Bon Clyde. If you like, Darren's the fucking if you like man. His, Vinny Resting and the quality he's bringing for the trailer, then give him a high five and a slap on the ass. For he's sure. Great. For sure. Yep, he's definitely a uh, family. He's, uh, you know, moved from our scene. He oh, man. Started playing yeah. Vampire, moved up to New York, plays with them. Yeah. And, uh, he gets to he he actually wanted to do this like he was just like yeah let's fucking do let's it. do it and we chatted about it and he put ideas to what you saw in the trailer it was awesome that's amazing so everybody put it in the work man I'm telling also, you also the music in that um, it was a a remix not a remix but a uh, the war agony theme from Balletta stage. With beats by uh, my brother, Mo, Ethan Bellamy, Mo. aka Fobitor. Fobitor. Yeah. So it's a real nice community driven project. Yep. And that's, you know, what we're trying to do for Makai. We've got so many people that are so talented yep. in all sorts of things. And uh, we're, we're all coming together yep. as a team for this one. So. We are definitely a team. And. Uh, Everybody's a part of it. Everybody has something, you know, bringing the table, yeah. bringing the stable, and shit. We have uh, zero one coming over, so uh, we're all uh, be on the lookout. Disciples of Kyle or like <laughs> disciples. Yeah. Uh, right. Disciples. Right. He does not like. He um, does not like when you flatter anything him. Else? <laughs> anything else? No, I Kyle doesn't take compliments well, but you know we're he's happy. We're going now, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, okay, okay. Let's thank you everyone for watching. That was a uh, fun talk. Um, hey -oh. Hey, is there any type of, I got something fun, like say there's a particular match or a highlight that you thought was like symbolic or exciting in, in the 4v4 singles, you could put that at the Vampire Arcadia account. It'd be pretty cool to get some timestamps up there and talk about matches. Ah, okay. That's, not, that's right? cool. All right. I'm still, yeah, pe people are still fishing through the content, man. There's so many hours of content right now and we're, we're coming yeah. off uh, fresh. So, yeah. Um, you guys have all heard our opinions, and I'd like to hear some of your mm -hmm. guys' opinions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us share. Let us know. Absolutely. Uh, we will. Um, that. You know, that was amazing. The announcements, the gameplay. Everyone's probably still tired from Makai. Uh, but we'll be back uh, tomorrow night, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can catch us uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be at Arcade Legacy. Yeah. Uh, just playing our normal Thursday uh, get together. Yeah. You'll see most of us. Yeah. Um, Kyle, how are you feeling, man? You recover from Combo Breaker? Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy to be home. And Hell yeah. Happy to get awesome. Back to my usual. You awesome. Got it. How's the family doing? Happy to have me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. But yeah, we're tomorrow gonna night, we're going to sign out. Join us tomorrow night. That was awesome. Thank you for watching, everyone. Kyle, love you. Zach, love you. Have a great evening. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Kyle, for joining C -c 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 us. Have a great night. Breaker. Take care.